Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Capricorns. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be the next 24 hours. This is going to be for January 13th through the 15th. So let's get straight into it. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe so that you can see my tarot readings in the future. And if you do want a personal consultation, um, check out the description box. My website will be listed there. All right, so Capricorns, the next 72 hours, what is the energy surrounding my Capricorns for that? For January 13th through the 15th. Okay, so the overall energy during this time frame, we do have the Three of Wands. Your current energy, we have the Page of Pentacles. The challenge that may come up is the Ace of Pentacles. The message from your spirit guides, I have the lovers, and then the outcome of this time frame, we do have the king of wands. Okay. Capricorns, January 13th through the 15th. So we have self-reflection, and we have, ble um, not blessings, excuse me, we have beginnings. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually talk about these cards. So the first card I want to cover is the overall energy. So we do have the three of wands. So with the three of wands being in this position, this is you guys having a very futuristic or maybe not futuristic is the word, but um, a more like future or forward focused mindset. You guys are waiting for or you guys are going to be in this energy of being patient, yes, but waiting for blessings to come in or for certain opportunities to come your way, especially in terms of love for some of you guys and in career. Um, this could be you guys sending out those vibrations and, you know, putting that energy out there and then waiting to kind of see things manifest from some work that you may have been trying to put in here. For some of you guys, you could have been working on something for like the past three days. Um, for some of you, like longer than that, like three months. Um, this could be something even creative for some of you guys and you're waiting for like your opportunity to shine almost or to really step into the next level of whatever you may be doing here. Um, during this time frame, some of you guys could be watching somebody's social media. You could have like recently gotten into an argument with your person. You guys may have broken up just for a brief amount of days or you guys are going to be broken up for a brief amount of days and you could be watching their social media to see like what they're doing um and this could be like psyching you out so i would say if that is you make sure you're not you know letting it emotionally uh get your route up or anything like that but this card is really really good this is like i i get this energy of you guys waiting for something or waiting to see how something turns out. Interesting. Okay, so the energy that you guys are currently in, I do have the Page of Pentacles. So this is you guys seeing opportunity. This is you guys being able to see opportunity for you to get more financial growth. This is you guys also being hungry to be further financially. This is also seeing opportunity for more more overall like this is recognizing your your need for stability financially and stability and love too hmm some of you guys could also be getting some sort of like little piece of money a little piece of change from like a mutual friend as well. This could be like you helping them with a job or something and they give you some money. Um, but nonetheless, like I said, this is seeking opportunity. So this is you guys looking for, you know, opportunities to make more money. Um, this is you guys also, also possibly looking at somebody as a love, love offer or a an opportunity in love, but possibly not really being sure if this person could live up to what you're quite looking for. But you have, again, some sort of idea or inclination that you could go somewhere with this individual. So it's like, again, it's seeing opportunity, you guys being optimistic in that. But 
The challenge, I do have the Ace of Pentacles. So the challenge may be the sense of stability of something. So this could be your sense of stability as far as like your job. You could be, you know, every day questioning whether or not you're still going to have your job. Um, this could also be questioning the stability of your relationship with someone or the issue may be getting the stability of a relationship from someone. So you could be dating them and they quite haven't decided, okay, yeah, we're going to make this a real relationship like with the title or something like that. Or some of you, it's like you're in the relationship, but you may want to live with this person and that person may be giving a little bit of a hard time with that. For some of you guys, also, you could be feeling like finding a new job is a little bit of a an issue or it could be not coming in as fast or a job opportunity in specifics. You could have been waiting for to hear back from them, but you may not hear from them during this time frame. Not saying you won't ever. I'm just saying just possibly not during this time frame. The advice from your spirit guides, though. I do have the lover's card, so this is making some head over heart decisions here. Um, yeah, some head over heart decisions. You got to use logic more in the circumstance that you may be in. And you're going to have to, of course, make a balanced decision off of what your heart wants and what your mind wants. But making sure that your heart is not also pulling you to make a dumb decision as well, especially if we're talking about love. Hmm. There was something else I wanted to say about this, but then it skipped me. That was so weird, but it, it'll possibly come back to me. But the last card I want to cover from the tarot cards, we do have the king of wands and this is going to represent the outcome. So the outcome of this week, um, I do feel as if you guys may have a fire sign that may be a focus, uh, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo, um, let's clarify. Yeah, you may be in the energy of not knowing what to do with this individual. And we have a pair there. So this could be somebody romantically that you're dealing with or um, really anyone. But you could be in the energy of not knowing what to do with them. You could be wanting things to move to a better place as far as like communication is concerned. And you guys like moving on from past issues, but you may be knowing that it's going to take some time to even get to that point. Okay. And even if this isn't a fire sign, this could be just somebody who you feel very drawn to and attracted to, but then also there's like short temper energy that's going on here as well. Now, the other cards I kind of want to cover, um, this one, the self-reflection card. And this card is, of course, about self-reflection. So during this time frame, you guys are going to be having to take a moment and really checking in with yourself and to also really be truthful with yourself in terms of who you are, the good and the bad, not ignoring both aspects of yourself. This is also making sure that you understand yourself more than anybody else. Because if you don't understand yourself, then people will always feel as if they can peg you and put you in certain boxes. And also during this time frame, some of you guys may be developing new beliefs and ways of being, but you need to make sure with these new beliefs and new ways of being that you understand why you're developing these beliefs and what they're stemming from. Also, another card I want to talk about is beginnings. And with this card, this is clearly saying that there's some new beginnings that you guys are going to be walking into. Now, when I say new beginnings, this doesn't mean like literally like you guys having like a, a literal new beginning. For a lot of you, this is just a new beginning as far as like fresh start energy, like you guys being able to do things differently, especially with this being the beginning of the new year. Um, you're basically being offered like fresh energy to start new. So if you don't have a job right now, this is a new beginning for you because now you have a chance to get the job that you truly want. This also is letting you know that during this time frame, you guys are going to have to take the first steps towards something that you've been wanting to work on here. No more procrastinating. Also during um, also during this time frame, it's time to take emphasis on your health and making sure that you guys are looking at your well-being. 
But this is what I see. I hope I kind of put things in perspective for you guys. If you enjoyed, thumbs up this video. Make sure you subscribe if you want a personal check out the description box. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.